I am, I'm actually surprised that they are bringing on so much flash flooding all over the country. And I want to thank my subscriber for leaving a comment. Did I see what happened in Oklahoma? Which I'm going to show you in a minute. But Texas, Northern, Central, wow. Um, is anybody else having a lot of computer problems? I've never experienced the amount of computer problems, the amount of computer crashes, the slowdown, the having to reboot at least three, four, or five times a day just to get my computer working for a little while and then it stops working again and I don't know what the hell is going on but I wanted to just edit I wanted to put a compilation together. Well, now my editing program's not working. I can't get on YouTube a thumbnail. Uh, that stopped working for me. You know, the pictures of the videos that you see in your on your home page. I can't I can't get that working. It hasn't been working for about twenty four hours. Oh wow. Well, I'm going to start with North Carolina. This is in Whiteville on September 16th. But what I want you to get is that what is taking place is absolutely horrific. People who are going through this it's traumatizing. It's terrifying. And so many people actually at the same time are experiencing just the flash floods. I saw a video, I think it was Oppenheimer, is it Ranch? Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer Ranch Project? I, I, I don't know if that's the, the right channel name, but Alberta? Did you have snow? This is a rescue in North Carolina. And it was fortunately successful. This woman is being rescued from the U-Haul truck. Now, these floods are happening literally within like a minute. People are not, they don't have time to prepare, to pull over. This is incredible what is taking place. And yes, I will say it is absolutely weather warfare. And as I was watching this, I was like, okay, this better be good. This better be successful. It is. It is. They do get that woman to safety. Thank God. Uh, this is in Ida, Oklahoma. Ida or Ida. Flash flooding. Yesterday, I believe. So this is Ada right now. This is obviously that's a lot of Ada. Yeah. Um, this, to me, that's filthy. Let's like, just go. Hey, listen. The next time you do something dumb like that, you don't talk. Come on. That's filthy to do that. And how many compilations have I put together this year of the flash flooding that is occurring, not just in the United States, but all over the world? This is Turner. Turner Falls, Oklahoma. Well, I thought there was audio. I don't know what happened to the audio. Okay. Oh, 
And listen, guys, I'm going to give you a warning. I, the next video I'm going to show you is what happened to cattle in Oklahoma. Um, they got washed away. A herd. We have not seen this kind of flooding happening all over the country um, ever, ever. This happening simultaneously with other states having their own flash flooding, destroying roads, destroying towns, destroying bridges, destroying homes, destroying life, human, animal, I mean four-legged wildlife. No. And you know what? This is weather warfare, and I'm sorry. Um, anybody who anybody who does not get outraged by what is taking place, I don't understand you. Wow, I'm sorry for cursing, but these are some sick motherfuckers who are playing this this weather, who's bringing it. Wow, I I can't even. I've tried, you know, put yourself in their shoes and try to imagine what these people are like. I I just can't. I can't. Flooding stops traffic in North Texas, where the driving got dangerous because of tonight's downpours. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. Major flooding issues right now after several inches of rain fell in a very short period of time. Dallas, Tarrant, Collin, Denton, Wise, and Grayson counties are all under flash flood warnings issued by the National Weather Service. One of the big trouble spots, take a look at this for drivers, it's in Plano. U.S. Highway 75 is shut down in both directions. This is at Plano Parkway. In this viewer video, you can see that water is rushing across Central. Here's a live look from our drive cam at the backup in the area. Police say the road is closed and it's covered with two feet of water. Fox Wars' Allison Harris is there. Allison. Clarice, if anyone knows people driving through this area, tell them to avoid Highway 75 in Plano. This traffic, as you said, it's it's blocked off at Plano Parkway, but it is backed up as far as Campbell Road and probably even, even farther at this point. You're looking at northbound 75. We are close to Renner Road from where we are. Southbound direction is moving okay, but this is a complete standstill right now. And Plano, Mindy. How are you? This is in uh, Everman, Texas. Out in the streets of Everman, signs a flood has come and gone. Got some water coming out there. But inside homes. You can see the floor there. It's all piled up out in the yard too. The damage is even more visible. Does everything happen like that? Jimmy Reason was watching around midnight as water came into his home, first an inch, then a foot, and then... And you see how water, water was this deep right here. That's how deep it was in my house. It was truly a flash flood. I mean, the bigger definition of a flash flood 
and uh, water had risen to approximately six feet at the highest point, uh, reaching into the homes. Craig Spencer says when Chambers Creek started to overflow its banks, police and firefighters started to receive 911 calls. They were uh, helping each other up on the roofs, helping each other out of the houses. It was not easy for responders to get there. The rain was coming down so hard it was hard to even see outside the windshield. Everman is in a floodplain, but the worst Spencer recalls is a foot or two of water. Last night, this neighborhood was six feet deep. Didn't move the washing machine. Flipped it all the way over. 45 homes and at least 20 vehicles ruined. It's a bad dream. Bad dream. But Jimmy Reason says he's thankful no people were hurt. Just okay. Um, how many people... Uh, in your state, do you think are awake to geoengineering and weather modification and weather warfare, that they are using weather, that they can use weather as a weapon? How many people do you think are, quote unquote, awake in Texas, in Oklahoma, in North Carolina, in South Carolina? And if there are, uh, if there's a decent number of people awake in your state, can you think of ways to possibly organize, um, get together and talk, and then go down to your local officials and your state officials and demand that they are that they begin to address the geoengineering, the weather modification, and how is it that we are seeing flash floods that are, you're suddenly dealing with six feet of water that come up, that comes up really fast. How does that happen? How does it happen? You know, Texas, White Rock, Dallas, Well, I guess uh, Dallas is now going to be experiencing zombie trees, just like Houston. They claiming that it was because of the trees sitting in the water. Nobody addresses the geoengineering, the dumping of toxic chemicals and heavy metals into the atmosphere that comes into, you know, that lands on the trees, gets into the soil, and kills the trees. Good morning, Pia. It's just crazy out here in Everman. We got here about an hour ago. You can see this morning, we've just got a couple of inches on the side of the road, but overnight folks out here say the water quickly rose in a matter of minutes up to six feet. If you take a look to my left right here, you can see a car. You can see the power of this water, this car, Heavy, heavy, heavy was shoved over to the side, and you see this along the streets as you drive down in this neighborhood. Now, I want to take a look inside some of these homes right here. Look at the damage that you're seeing in here. I mean, some of the water residents say got three, four, some reporting even. It's the same guy. Flooding overnight led to dozens of rescues in Williamson County, including one at a popular wedding venue. KVU's Juan Rodrigo shows us the magnitude of the overnight storms. Early morning flash floods rushing through parts of Williamson County. The intense high waters forced officials to close down several roads Saturday morning. And at dawn, firefighters rescued more than 60 people in Liberty Hill, 
when waters got too high at a wedding venue called Casa Rio de Color. Just thundering and lightning all night long and I was pretty much socked out and I just waking up this morning I really didn't know what to expect. In Georgetown, water damage was still visible just blocks away from the home of Amy Phillips. The San Gabriel River flooded Blue Hole Park. The water rose so high out here at St. Gabriel River that you can clearly see the water marks at least 50 feet away from the normal river levels. The Austin Fire Department was on hand to help. Okay. Um, a train derailed. 11 cars derailed in Farmersville, Texas due to the flash flooding. Sonora, Holy Texas. Crap. That's what I asked Alex, and he's lived here his whole life. They got the dogs out. Sunday's dogs out. Never seen anything like it. Crews in Williamson County, they've been making uh, lots of water rescues, up to 90 people. They're safe in Liberty Hill right now. That is according to Williamson County Sheriff Robert Chody. He tweeted out this video of a hovercraft to help with some of those water rescues this morning. The sheriff says those rescues occur occurred near County Road 279 in Blue Hole near Liberty Hill. Here's some more video of flooding this morning near Liberty Hill. You can see cars stuck in water. Water. And of course, at this point, we want to remind you, turn around, don't drown. And a look at road closures from flooding this morning. Only a few roads are flooded in Travis County, but more roads are closed in Hayes and Bastrop counties and in Marble Falls. And there are more than 20 road closures in Williamson County that are not shown on this map. Now, if I this morning have missed areas because I put in flash flooding, just that term on YouTube, and all I got was uh, Oklahoma and Texas. Uh, so if, if there's flash flooding going on somewhere else, drop a comment below. This is so unbelievable what we are living. And I'm going to say it again. All one needs do needs to do is research weather modification, geoengineering to understand what is happening. We are being deliberately destroyed. You guys know it. How the hell do we get through to people? You now it's uh, is it the frequencies that it, uh, are just whew, keeping their brains so unbelievably closed, like it's a cement wall, that they won't even consider having a conversation about it? Well, if that's the case, now look at the person like they're in shock. What do you do when somebody's in shock? You slap them hard. I don't know what to do anymore, but I am... It's hard to look at the devastation that is taking place. I said six years ago this is going to get so much worse if we can't get this stopped. And you know what? We're, what we're seeing right now, it's going to get far worse. So for those of you who are listening, don't think, oh, well, I'm okay. I'm not in a flood plain. It's not going to happen to me. You can't think that anymore. The entire country is a floodplain. The entire world is a floodplain when man can create floods. All links are below.